When we get ready to set the tool, a common mistake that many people make is they start with the curvature of the, of the forked end towards the jam. That may be okay to create a purchase or a gap, but if we actually set our halligan in this position, one of the problems that gets created is your, your, your curvature is towards the jam. So as, you, as JD goes to apply this force, he's gonna push in towards the door. When he does, he's re essentially reversing the, the force that we've just applied to that, that tool. Problem with that is, is if he does it quickly and sharply enough, it has the potential to kick out. So that's a common mistake. One of the things that you can use as a guide or a general rule of thumb is, I've, I've heard of several different ways. People sometimes will use the, the end of the U of the, of the forked end of the halligan. I have just taken and marked or scored my halligan at about the three inch mark. That gives me a good rough idea that when I'm forcing this halligan in and I'm paying attention and watching where those forks are going, as that, as a, <clears throat> as that halligan slides into that mark, I know or have a general good, a, a good general idea that I'm going to be deep enough and that I can safely apply that force without, uh, without worrying about not being able to catch the back side of the jam. One other thing to think about here is <clears throat> if we talked about the doors so tight that we have to start with the forks this way. So we get that gap in here and now we decide, okay, we're going to relocate. We're going to flip it over and go the other way. Drive something in there to hold that purchase for you. Either either a wood wedge out of your helmet, the uh, the flathead. Drive it in there. Do something to save that space that you already created, so you're not starting over. Because you have a good strong door in a metal frame. Maybe it's encased in concrete. Real strong door. You pull that halogen out of there, and it springs back, and you almost have to start over again. That's time. Every time we do something like that, it adds more time to the to what we're trying to accomplish. So think ahead. Drive it in there, get your, uh, get your ax in. Once I'm in position, I get my tool back into the place. It's in there, he can back out. Now he can hit, 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 drive it in, and we can get that door opened up. All right, so we've got the door. When we talked about if we can force it, we're gonna go ahead and force it. We're saying we can't right now. So we're gonna go to the forked end of our halligan. If I can get my halligan buried with the curve towards the door, and I can drive it past that jam inside, bury it, because if you don't get it deep enough, all you're gonna do is either slide off that metal jam or you're gonna blow, blow the uh, wood jam out. So I wanna drive it deep enough and then my leverage in is gonna be there. There's times where even after we've gapped the door, we can't get it in with the curve towards the door. So we're gonna flip it, it gives me a little bit. Now I've gotta start my angle way out here. So when I'm telling him to hit, I'm basically starting clear over here. As he drives it, he's hit, 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 and then drive. We're gonna drive it past that jam. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it'll go. If it doesn't, now I've made enough space to where I can flip it around, get my, my uh, uh, bevel of my forks going towards the door, give me more leverage, and we can go.